This is Airline Manager 4. Uh, my name's Dave from Cheapbooks.com. I am going to be purchasing some new cargo planes today, perhaps five or six planes. I'm going to show you how I do it. Go here to Fleet, and it says here I have 220 aircraft, I believe. So you're going to go to Order, and then Cargo. And I'm planning on buying the A380-800F. I'm going to tell you that the AN-225 should be a higher profit aircraft. However, you have to depart multiple times per day. And because it it transports a large number of uh, pounds of goods, you're going to run out during the day. Uh, so it's a special plane. you got to play it a little bit differently than your regular long-range aircraft. I'm also going to advise you that the B747-8F and the 400F, the, the 8F being better, makes has a huge range, fuel efficient, and the amount of uh, cargo that it can transfer is similar to what the A380-800F does, and it does it at less than half the price. So consider the B747-8F. I'm going to be buying this because I got a lot of cash. First thing you're going to do is you're going to check the engine, see what the difference is. Very similar. I'm going to go with the Trent 977B because it looks like it's more fuel efficient. And it's going to take longer to get there, but it doesn't matter because I launch my planes all at the same time. I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm going to put half and half. I'm going to raise one half heavy load and half large load. And the reason why is because we don't know what, what uh, hubs we're going to be flying between. And then I'm going to purchase this aircraft, obviously. Don't use the Deliver Now option. The points, there's something that you want to use over here, which is to increase your fuel tanks, which is worth a lot more points than the Deliver Now option. So save your points for that. So I'm going to buy another one of these vehicles. Unfortunately, you cannot buy more than one at a time. Buy another one. Already know I'm going to get the Trent. Already know that I'm going to put this. You could type the numbers manually if you want to. And I'm going to order one of these. Then I'm going to click on order. I'm going to buy another one. So, oh, you know, okay, so I made a mistake. I put it for Dubai. And I should not have done that. I want it probably on Lima. So I'm going to select Lima. That's a big mistake. Don't worry about it. Because when you get it, you just move it to another route. You do a route to your hub that you want it to go to. And it, you'll break even on the cost. Going to buy another one. Now I know you're wondering about my uh, hangers. I need to upgrade the hangers. I don't have the money to do it right now, but I will do it soon. To buy another identical aircraft. Put it in Lima. Looks like I've got, I don't know, I can't see the amount there. It's hard to read. 962. You don't want to spend all your money because these numbers are not accurate. Sometimes you will quit the game and reload and it will update the numbers. And it's usually not in your favor. Okay, so what do we got here? It looks like everything's good. So the reason why I chose the other engine is because it's more fuel efficient. When they fly and then they land, I'm not going to depart them right away. And because I'm not going to depart them quick enough, the faster plane isn't worth buying. 
you only want the faster plane. You can also click on Airbus over here. You only want the faster engine if you're departing aircraft as soon as they land. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter. Okay, this is going to be the last one I'm going to buy. Since I've got enough to buy one more, but a smart player, I'm going to wait another day. So these are the aircraft that I purchased. And these are the ones that I sold, which was in another video. And here they are as expensives. Okay, that's me buying the cargo aircraft. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to check my forum, which is cheapbooks.cc. Go to the video game section and look for Airline Manager 4.